Hello reptile lovers and welcome back to my channel. Today you saw it in the intro is a sad day. The project Raptor is down and how it comes you will see in this video. Raptor lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sven. This is Woody. My cameraman even is at home. He has to do some schoolwork. And so why is this horrible intro? No, I will build my enclosure. No problem. It's just the project Raptor is down. What I mean by this, uh, for, the, for those of you who watch my channel, uh, or you can click down in the description, there is my playlist. You can see the video about it. I wanted to use this stuff to cover my back plates. So why did I want to use this? See, a quick walk around. I built off-road cars like this one for many, many, many years. And all of my cars I cover with this stuff. It has a nice structure, it's durable, and it's really, really easy and fast to supply or to apply so and i thought to myself hey i can i can use it in my enclosure and i called the company and they said no problem you can do it but uh, i was thinking about and i had a comment on facebook and he asked me why i use so many chemical stuff uh, in my enclosure you can use just epoxy color your epoxy put sand in the epoxy and it's still the same like this because you won't know maybe after 10 12 years if your animal maybe get cancer from this stuff so and these were the two reasons that I decided to make the project Raptor down but the build is going on so let us hop hop down uh, to my home and I show you how I built the back plates. See you! Okay, today I want to start to put uh, the epoxy and the sand material on my background plates. Okay, I put this into my garden. Nice ventilated area. What do we need? We need epoxy. You can use this for aquarium and terrarium. I have a color to color this stuff. You need a, something to measure, some things to steer in. Yeah. Also, you have to to use your uh, your material to uh, 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 to cover your your breast. <laughs> I don't know what it's. It's a face mask. Uh, then you have to use gloves. Okay, now I want to start to prepare the epoxy. And after I put the epoxy onto the first plates, I will put a few layer of sand just to make it a little bit rough structure because I want to put another layer on it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, this is the first layer with those epoxy and sanding. It's just the first layer. So this is how it looks. And there will be two more layers with epoxy and with different color of sand. So now we have to wait until it's dry. So 
this is how it looks like after it's dry for one day this is a original piece and this is one time epoxy and a little bit sand this is the first layer i will put three or two or three layers on top with sand different kind of sand materials this is again this is just a just try the color and it's really durable it's extremely good so this works so i decided against those raptor 2k uh, material i just use this epoxy and the sand material okay now it's nice weather today let's go outside and do the next plates plate is done one layer epoxy a little sand nice weather look the different to the original ones okay just this one this one and the big back wall and then I have to do a few more steps but look at this beautiful weather that is amazing this is fun to work Let's do the other ones. So the next three plates are ready with this epoxy and sanding. Now I have to wait until it's dry and then the work has to go on. how it looks like the first layer of epoxy and sand this is a big back wall from the mangrove tree so I will put a few more layers on it and I will put different color sand so that will look like a mangrove tree tree afterwards so now let us dry okay the first layer of epoxy and sand is dry I have another epoxy here so I put the next layer on it and the next layer I will use this play sand yeah and then a few more layers will come even I think let's go let's, let's go, again. Let's go. <laughs> the second layer of epoxy and sand there will be one or two more oh it looks really nice with this normal play sand look over here i think i will go with this color for the normal plates and for the mangrove tree and the roots i will go for a little bit red or darker color okay I have to go on. Good. The third layer of epoxy and sand is dry over here. Now it's going to be the final step, the coloration. So I will use clear epoxy and then I have different colored sand and I have this rock. This will be the color of the normal rock parts of my panels this is like this color and this are the branches i want to use i have darker ones and lighter ones 
and I mixed the different sands so it will match nice. It's close to, it's not 100% but it's close to this color and this will be the color of the mangrove tree and the roots. Okay, let's go for the last layer. Okay, here are all the plates, they are all sealed with epoxy, all the back walls, the back sides are sealed, so it's absolute waterproof. Okay, and the front sides are two or three or four times with epoxy and sand. Okay, now let us put this into the enclosure. Sadly the camera went off, but it was just sticking together all the plates. So right here you see the pond plates, nice. And over here is the big tree stump. And the hole over there, there will be a big branch, will go all the way over to this side. And down there you can see this is a real branch. It should look like a root. And I tried to to color this the same like this. Yeah, it's it's pretty close. On the other side, there is also the root. And down here, this is the entrance of the cave. All the gaps will be sealed with silicon and sand. Let us have a look from the other side. Yeah, this is a nice shot. See, this is the carved root out of foam. And this is a real uh, tree stump. Yeah, I think it looks really nice. Okay, Raptor lovers, this was a project background and background plates. I think it turned out really nice. I have a lightweight, durable, removable plates. They look pretty nice. Uh, it was a lot of work. With this uh, Raptor material, this would be a thousand times faster, but I took my time. Um, and here uh, I have another uh, point, what I want to say. This was, uh, well, this is epoxy and sand, but after it, I, uh, <laughs> I sanded it, so there is no, uh, no uh, uh, pieces where you can hurt yourself. It's smooth. It was a lot of work, but it was worth it. Yeah, I think that's it for today. Uh, and now we will say, if you like this content, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we we'll see us in our next video. Bye bye!